in this lecture we will have a detailed discussion on digital signals. So, in the last lecture we have already discussed that what is an analog signal, what is a digital signal. We have seen that an analog signal is a signal which is continuous in time that means, it exists at each and every point of time during its existence and the digital signal is one which is derived from the analog signal and it is existing at discrete points of time. Like if we draw it, this is time axis with time, this is amplitude, may be voltage or current signal. This is a continuous time signal that means, at each and every point of time the signal has got some value or the other, but it has got some value at each and every point of time that is an analog signal. So, this is an analog signal and digital signal which we have already discussed that is it is analog signal sampled in time that means, if we take few samples from the analog signal and plot it then it becomes a digital signal that we have already discussed till this. So, this is a digital signal again this is amplitude may be voltage or current. suppose taking this is at plus minus 10 volts analog signal. So, the peak value may be it is plus 10 volts, it is minus 10. Then these may be this is the maximum value, I have taken the sample here. Let us take this is 10 volts, this may be say 2 volts, this may be say 2.6 volts and so on. So, all these values are discrete values and we are having these values at discrete instants of time. These are all time instants. If let us take this reference at 0 time, maybe this is 1, 2, maybe this is 4, this is 5, 6, again this is 8, 10 and so on. So, not at every point of time, so from 0 to 1 there may be uh, we may divide it as 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 1, but we do not have these values at any of those instants 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. At one instant we have a value because we have taken a sample there. The next sample is at 2, the next sample is at 4, again like that at 5, at 8, maybe this sample, this sample maybe it is taken at say 10.7th instant, maybe you know instead of writing it 2. Let us take it as this sample is taken at 1.5 instant. So, it is like that at each and every time instant it does not have value, it has value at only chosen time instants that is from analog signal which is having value at each and every point of time. I have taken we have taken some samples which are existing at some time you know predefined if not predefined it is based on the sample taken at what time the sample is taken at that time this is existing. So, it is like that at discrete points of time the discrete signal is existing. So, by definition this is your digital signal. So, digital signal is one which is having value at discrete points of time and those values are also discrete. So, this is a digital signal we have already discussed this. Now, the question is how do you visualize a digital signal? Analog signal I have already told our household supply Indian household power supply 220 volts AC alternating signal that is one analog signal we can understand like I have given one example that I am talking in front of the camera. So, this is also a continuous signal I am continuously talking uh, during uh, the time of existence of this lecture you can 
uh, see me talking for maybe you know 5 10 minutes continuously so that is also an analog signal anything any you know when you see the picture around when you uh, supp suppose one very uh, la uh, example co very common example uh, that you will be able to understand that a live telecast of a tele uh, cricket match in a television suppose you are wa watching a live telecast of a cricket match so all the pictures that are taken that you can do, that you are seeing that is an analog signal again that is how the picture is taken that is analog when you are viewing it in your television screen that is also an analog signal so how do you really visualize a digital signal where is the digital signal as i have already told that digital signals are never readily found in nature digital signals are for our convenience for our benefit so you can actually never see a digital signal in reality digital signals are used by us to process an analog signal in such a way so that it reduces power it uh, reduces the probability of error during transmission and there are many other reasons also so is that that this this point must be very clear that analog signals are readily available in nature we can see it any signal you imagine they are of analog nature and apart from few noise signals but digital signals they are derived from analog signals they are derived from analog signals in this way that their sampled analog signals are sampled in time at different instance of time you are taking samples out of the analog signal and you are making it a digital signal which is by definition discrete in time and discrete in value so you cannot see it you cannot actually visualize it you have to understand in this way that for our convenience we have reduced the signal you no know, num volume of the signal is being reduced for our convenience for our benefit now how uh, that you know how actually that benefits us and there is one more important question if you are not able to really see it then how e how it is reconstructed because i am telling that this picture when it is taken by the camera this signal is analog signal when it is again reproduced it is again an analog signal so in between there must be some process by which you are reconstructing the signal because digital signals are not the original ones that is also very important to understand they are derived from the original signal they are a signal which you can think of a trade off between the best and it is not the best but it is usable or it is beneficial for our purpose so that reconstruction might be must be understood in a proper way that how again the best signal is reconstructed which is the analog signal so there must be a process like analog signal is converted to a digital one from analog we are going to digital by some converter again that digital signal has to be reconstructed back to the original signal that is the analog signal so there must be some process like this and that we'll discuss in our next lecture that how exactly a digital signal is uh, made from an analog signal how it is converted back to the uh, analog signal and in between how a digital signal is processed and what is a digital signal and how many types of digital signals are there that is also very important to uh, know and important to understand so again with this that analog signals are the original signals that are readily available in nature from that we derive a signal that is not the original one but a compromised one but which will actually benefit us the human beings for many purposes that is a digital signal a digital signal cannot be readily found in nature so it it is you know it is for processing the analog signal in such a way so as to reduce power so as to uh, reduce the probability of error and uh, reduce the size of the electronic device that you are using for those reasons we are using this digital signal nothing else they are not the original ones they are not the ones which we can readily find in nature so with this i i, I uh, hopefully that this digital signal 
the meaning of the digital signal, the understanding of a digital signal is clear. In the next lecture, we will proceed with in a, a detailed discussion of digital signal.